Our home is our sanctuary, our own sacred temple space, where we grow, flourish, and blossom. And it's said that how you feel at home is how you will feel in life. So I love to personally make it a super intentional space. And here it is, the cosmic landing spot. I'm calling it that because this house was temporary yet so transformative it was definitely an initiation to live here so i'm excited to share it with you because i absolutely loved this spot and actually recorded this right before i moved but i wanted to make sure to get some video because a lot of you were requesting it and i'm so glad i did so here's the front entrance i absolutely love how tall the ceilings are and how open the space is there were a few things i wanted to manifest when getting this house and i totally did so let's begin and segment. I love to be organized and also have my own energetic realms in each room, so I'm so grateful this space has allowed it. First off, we have this office space, and I love these high ceilings. It's allowed for such an ample amount of light and also energy. I often record my videos in this space. We got a bunch of light equipment over here, and I also use it just as an office space because it is so beautiful. Okay, so over here we have pretty much just the center space where I often record videos, sometimes do podcasts. It's actually really nice just to meditate here. You can see Segment's little toy. And I've set up this sacred altar here as a grid. I pretty much have altars everywhere in the house, but on each altar you'll find very symbolic items that are congruent with each other, but also hold different energies. My magical wand table. Yes, these are magical wands, and yes, I do actually use them. I've gathered them from different parts of the world. And I feel like they also hold a very strong energetic grid of light just by being present in the room. A desk for office and work stuff, and it's very specifically facing towards the sun. The next room, as we make our way into the house, is the Egyptian room, also known as a dining room, where I eat and have official dinners if I have people over. Other times, I'll just eat outside or in my living room, so this space has also served as an arts and craft area for painting and fun things like that. And of course, we have a bunch of different details different sacred items. Again, this is a very like Egyptian themed, but of course we got other themes too. Also have like a mermaid here. These pillars are just like key. They're key. Here we have this sacred altar space for when you first walk in. Some cosmic Lyran codes to welcome and to support the space. And then we have the kitchen and the living room, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. First, I'm going to show you my bedroom because it's over here. We have a little laundry room right here with some laundry stuff and a garage out that way. And then here we have this sacred temple room. <laughs> All right, I didn't fully get this space as ready as I could have, but I just kind of threw it together because again, I'm about to move but just wanted to show you this space. So starting over here, we have a sacred altar that I love to wake up to and do my affirmations in. It's also where I do my makeup and pretty much just get ready for the day. And there is a room, a house that is on the other side of there. So these are blackout curtains. And I'm actually really weird if you've watched my videos before, then you already know. I like to fully black out my room. So I do it to the best of my ability here. And I usually don't have these open, but for the sake of the video, here we have a little extra side for someone. And of course, you know, I equipped it with a crystal grid. Crystals everywhere. And then over here, we have my side, which I am closest to the bathroom because I pee often. And of course, we have my EMF and radiation protection blanket from No Choice. I'll leave the link in the description. But I sleep with this over my eyes, my crown, and my third eye. And I get such good sleep with it. And then we have my little side table, an air filter, and of course a sword. Which, by the way, this sword... This sword is um, so sharp and so powerful. It's actually two swords in one. It becomes two swords. And I just casually keep this by my bed, you know, just in case. It's more of an energetic protection because I know that I'm good. We also have some energy clearing dream catchers. And here we have my bathroom. 
I have absolutely loved this bathroom space because it does have so much space. This bathtub also has jets, which has been really nice. We got some Aphrodite coats, some bath stuff, a little sacred altar. All right, now this was one of the most epic manifestations about this house, and it is the dream closet. Finally, a closet where I can be completely organized. Now I know this is actually messy. It, it is messy because, again, I am just about to pack, but I wanted to get it on camera because it was pretty epic, especially when it's clean. So as you can see, we have shelves for sweatpants and sweat clothes. We have hangers for dresses. And I really got to organize my clothes based on what items they were. Here we have sports bras and then lace bras. I loved this contraption to hang things. An area for accessories and some more shelves. Again, this was a lot nicer when it was actually clean. But I really loved also especially this. Let me just show you, I have like my moon cycle underwear, like sexy underwear, I have like the white socks, I have like the comfy big socks, like it's been so nice to stay so organized, so I'm so grateful for this space. And we make our way out back to the kitchen. I have absolutely loved this kitchen because it allows for its own little space and realm to cook and focus in yet it's also super open. If you see it from this different angle here, you can totally interact with and have the kitchen be a part of the living room experience, especially with the high ceilings, lots of open, ample space, but at the same time, it does feel like you're in your own little compartment and realm when you're in the kitchen. And now, I'm pretty sure this is where a kitchen table is supposed to go, but I already have a dining table, so instead, I turned this into a creative area. We have instruments and comfy things to play them on. Sound bowls and a rain stick. These are actually body tools. Use these on your body to massage and create more lymph movement. And then a nice altar space above it. And then we have the trampoline, which I love to do little workouts on in the morning. And then I have my yoga box. That's also where my rollers and I think I have some weights in here for sure. Kitchen hack, by the way, it's smart to have something that keeps your like maybe electronics and like some random junk stuff. I think this is a um, like for like a Nerf gun or something. But having a little tray or a box that allows for you to keep kind of your stuff that's everywhere in a nice spot where it like looks better, right? And then from the creative space, we move on to the living room, which this has been one of my favorite spots ever. I love how open this is. By the way, I'm like apparently a home designer architect with how I am classifying my home, but I love how open this is, how much light it allows in, and just how like big and beautiful this space is. So it was actually kind of new for me to get a TV. This was my um, first like adult TV because I didn't watch TV. I legitimately did not watch TV. So this has been fun. I've been watching mushroom documentaries on it, as well as some other interesting things. And then we got like a speaker, and of course I have a sword. This speaker's actually falling off the wall. It was nice before, but this sword is pretty epic. I share it in some of my other videos, so I'm sure you've seen it, but of course, it's like underneath the TV, like, sword is like normal. That's like what you have there, right? Of course. Then we have a money tree, which this is really like a money tree. It's not just like a money plant, it's a money tree, as well as my other ones, which I'll show you in a second. They legitimately turned into trees. Hangout space just to be like, okay, I'm a human. Check your reflection a little bit. Be like, okay, I'm a human. Yep, that's real. This beautiful fireplace is also an altar where I have pretty much just set up special symbolic items. I have my passport charging behind my altar because I just got it back. Of course, a salt lamp to invigorate with some native ions, which are actually positive. It's a positive thing. We have some cleansing tools and all of my plants. I absolutely love these plants. If you watched my vlogs, then you know that I replanted them. I actually shipped them from California. I'm actually going to be doing the same thing, bringing them back to California. This money tree, do you see this? It starts there, 
Usually the bush is like right about there. No. Here you see, you can follow this. It goes all the way, all the way up. It's a legit money tree. This money tree too. You see that over in the distance right there? All the way up. I think I should, uh, maybe that's what I should make as my profession. How to grow money trees. Extremely tall. It's symbolic. And then we have the main hangout space. This is usually Sekhmet's chair. And then that is actually a biomat. These are amethyst crystals that charge up and actually heat and send healing through the heat waves of the amethyst crystals. And yeah, this couch and space is super comfy. It's been so nice to live here, to hang out here, to pray here, to play here, to celebrate here, and to experience here. So I'm so grateful. Also really dig the high ceilings. I feel like that's something that needs to be necessary in all of my places. This makes me feel like I have space and room for my energy. And to the side of the living room is this hallway, which has two rooms in the back. And now I do live alone, so it's been nice to have so many bedrooms, but I do have a space for my people. First, we have the healing room slash guest room. I've set it up for my friends and my family so that they're comfortable when they come and stay. Lots of activating and awakening paintings for the guests. A comfy bed that actually pulls out into a king bed. And since Sekhmet's in here a lot, we also have some things for him in the room. And yes, that is a stripper pole. I had to have a room with some extra vibes, you know, and this was the only room it fit in, so here we are. The guests get to sleep with the stripper pole. And I feel like this room looks the coolest at night with the red lights on. Such a vibe. And the last room is the music room slash second office. I've used this space to make music and to really go crazy with music, just like play my drums super hard, you know, and sing and chant and do my fun, crazy calls. But it's also been a really cool second office when I do have people staying with me and they need to work. This is also a steam sauna, which you just sit in, you pop your head out. It really looks hilarious, but I've loved it. And to the left, that is actually Sekhmet's litter box. It's a camouflage litter box. And when I use the sauna, I do remove it from the room. We head out to the backyard. Also one of my favorite spaces. I love how green it is for Texas. Nature definitely thrives out here in Austin. By the way, this is my cactus. I planted just one of these and it's grown into so many. Here I've started a little compost pile which was going wild for a while. It was so beautiful, but now it's tamed down. It looks kind of normal. I have a hot tub, which has been so nice. It was so nice during the winter to get into a nice hot tub. I have a little area, a little space over here. They're actually doing construction in the back, which I'm so grateful that I'm moving now because that did not exist when I first moved in here. And we have this grandfather tree. I feel like this tree has definitely protected me and pillared protection while I've lived here. Beautiful little backspace. Incredibly impressed by the craftsmanship. It actually looks kind of easy, but also looks genius at the same time. I'm like, I think I could actually maybe make this roof. I may attempt it at some point, but for now, I'll just enjoy and honor and appreciate. So beautiful. And the thing is, out here in Texas, it was like 118 degrees the other day. It is so hot to where it's kind of hard to spend too much time out here unless you want to be like in a sauna. And as you can see, the grass is just like doesn't exist anymore because it's like impossible. Look at that wind is picking up. Nature, here's me. I love you, nature. I appreciate you, nature. I honor you. But yeah, I've just noticed that I definitely am sensitive to environments because I've spent a little bit less time out here. Yet regardless, I am so grateful for all that this chapter has brought. So grateful for the lessons, the blessings, the codes that I now carry on to the rest of my journey, and all that is to transpire from this space and to moving forward. And I find that as I have moved around and lived in a bunch of different environments and spaces, it really is so important for me to be in an environment that supports me and my well-being. And I have come to accept 
that I am different than others and therefore I do require and enjoy different things than others. And for me personally, one of those things is the beach. So I'm excited and grateful to get back. My wish is that all people find the environment, the homes that feel best to them, that make them feel safe, most beautiful, aligned, healthy, and vibrant. May we all be welcomed home. And so it is. Bless.